Hey guys, how you doing? This is uh, Steven. I'm back for another tutorial. Uh, this time around it's going to be uh, probably a bunch of tutorials on uh, uh, motion tracking and After Effects. Um, I, I kid you not when I say I probably got about 30 or 40 messages or emails in my uh, YouTube box wanting me to do a tutorial on motion tracking and After Effects. Um, so I'm pretty much going to go through, through uh, most of them. Uh, and so, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, let's get started. Um, so the first thing you want to do is have, uh, footage-wise, you want to have really good footage. You want to have clean footage, clear footage. Um, you don't want it to be blurry. You don't want to have, you know, any type of motion blur, uh, fuzziness, uh, really old footage. I learned my lesson from the last, last motion tracking tutorial I did, um, is uh, the 30 to 40 year old, um, uh, samurai movie, uh, Ogami Ito, or Lone Wolf and Cub. If you haven't seen it, go out and buy the DVDs. It's a freaking awesome series. But anyway, um, it was film, yes, actual film, that was transferred to videotape, and then from videotape to DVD. So it went from okay quality to poor quality to worse quality, and then when I transferred it onto my computer, it made it even worse. Um, if you you know, go back and check, you can see I was having problems with the points I was tracking. Uh, it, the footage was just so fuzzy that it, the uh, track point couldn't get a good lock, and it was just the track point was just jumping all over the place. So um, right here, the footage I have is from uh, the movie DOA, which unfortunately I don't think it ever made it to the movie theater. Um, went straight to DVD. Which, uh, it's actually not a bad movie. Everyone I've talked to said, you know, the movie it was really bad, and so I went and rented it anyway, because I like, you know, video games and stuff like that. Um, even though I never played DOA, a Mortal Kombat guy, um, it was actually, you know, a pretty good movie. It was, it was really fun to watch, and, you know, if you, you know, want to buy it, it's probably in dollar bin at Walmart or something, so it's really cheap. You know, I, I, you know, pick it up and watch this good Saturday afternoon flick, um, so I, I picked this footage. It was, it was uh, uh, after going through several DVDs. This is the one that I found that had you know really good footage that I could use that was nice and stable and you know <clears throat> fairly easy to track. So I'm not going nuts trying to you know um, fix it and tweak it while uh, while I'm doing this tutorial. <sighs> Excuse me. Ah, it's been a long day. Um, so. After you've got your footage uh, imported into, in, into your in, into your computer, um, next you want to do is obviously open After Effects, and I'm going to show you how to set up a workspace, uh, which I, I think I showed on one of my other tutorials, uh, but I'm going to show you again. Um, I usually like to wor have my own workspaces for different things like uh, effects, uh, tracking, and uh, photo editing, which actually, yes, I use uh, After Effects for photo editing more than Photoshop because it's got a whole bunch of features that Photoshop doesn't have. Um, so I'll show you how to do it. Uh, first thing I want to do is go to Window, Workspace, um, select one of the um, workspaces, uh, um, uh, standard workspaces that they have here, so I'll, I'll pick effects and uh, well, let's let's try and get more windows in there. So let's go to all panels. And uh, what you want to do <coughs> is after you select one of your default workspaces, go to workspace all the way down, third one down, new workspace, and type in the name of your workspace. And I'm going to call it tracking, all in capital letters. And the reason I do that is so when I go back into uh, look for a workspace, I see the ones with capital letters. I know those are mine, and I don't have to worry about you know running through all the all the workspaces to figure out which one I want. So I hit OK. Workspace already you know with that name already exists. I've already got a tracking workspace, but I'll just do it over to show you guys. So hit OK, and just go around and remove all the panels you don't want. So I'll remove all these guys down here. I love that name, The Wiggler. Sounds like a freaking porn movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, info, ta time trackers. Um, and I want my uh, uh, timeline down here to extend all the way across, so I'm just going to take tracker controls, and I'm going to lock it to the side of my uh, um, uh, footage uh, workspace here, so it gives more, more uh, um, space for my... Um, a timeline. Now that's it. Uh, we already saved. For some reason, usually you'd think you'd want to change something, then save it, and it'll be saved. No, in this case, you have to actually save it first, save your workspace first, then remove everything you want, 
and you're done. Um, so if you take something out of your, so you say you remove like the tracker controls and then you save it, when you go back to your tracking, the tracker control is not going to be there. <clears throat> I don't know why they made it the way, that way, but that's how it works. So now we have our, our tracking controls. And uh, so the first thing we want to do is take our footage. And I'm going to dump it in here. And what we have here is about 22 minutes of footage. And what I want is within the first four minutes, about right here. Our heroine Kasumi is uh, walking through her palace guards trying to get out of her palace uh, so she can go to the uh, the tournament. And uh, this is area one. So we're going to crop down our workspace. So grab the, jeez, um, uh, I can't remember what it's called, uh, the little blue box that uh, helps you extend your work area uh, at one end and hit shift. Hit the shift button while you're dragging it, and it'll snap to the, uh, the time slider. And do the other end. I hate when that happens. Don't grab it far enough. There we go. I'll bring it down here. And we're going to crop this off here. Crop the workspace that we have here. So make sure the cursor is on the work area. Whoops, didn't want to do that. <clears throat> right click, trim comp to work area, and there you go. Now we just got it trimmed down. So I want to trim it down even farther, but I'm not going to worry. We're just going to move on from here. Um, now the thing is... <sighs> excuse me, another yawn. <sighs> oh, it's been a very long day. Um, from this point, um, we could start tracking, but the problem is um, the tracking will look at the footage <clears throat> rather than the composition at this point. So it will look at, I guess you could say, um, the footage that's below the footage that we're looking at. So instead of looking at this 25 seconds, it will look at the original 22 minutes that we just cropped. So to get around this, we have to take our footage and we have to pre-compose it. So we'll select our layer and go to Control Shift C, which will pre-compose. Uh, name it whatever you want and make sure Move All Attributes into New Composition is selected and hit OK. And we've got a new composition, 25 seconds long. So when we do our motion tracking, it will refer to the footage below this footage. So in order to see that, just click the layer, make sure it's selected, hit Alt, double click on that layer, and it's the original 25 seconds we just cropped. So when we do our motion tracking on the layer above it, this 25 seconds, it will refer to the layer below it, which is the 25 seconds we cropped. And again, if we did the motion tracking here, it'll look at the footage below that, which is the original 22 minutes. So hopefully I didn't confuse anybody there. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that, I'm going to get rid of this, and let's see here, get rid of this here. And I actually used, or already cut the footage, and I've got two minutes to go. Um, so I've already got the footage cut here because the original DVD was, uh, the original footage that I brought in was just butchered up. My computer just destroyed it, so I had to piece it together. And uh, so what, you want, what, what I'm going to do here is just take this footage, <coughs> and bring it in new composition. So it's called cut footage, bring it to a new composition. So it's at cut footage two. Okay, and I'm going to stop here and I'm gonna start again in the next tutorial. Um, I know I have a tendency to go blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'll, I'll try and, you know, keep it, you know, all the blah, blah, blah down next tutorial. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute.